So yeah, I feel as victorious as Optimus here. We're pretty, we're pretty good. We've, we've done a lot of good customizing to this model, and with just free stuff, <laughs> made something pretty awesome. Uh, next up, I'm gonna show you getting a hat or a helmet onto the face mesh. So let's turn off playing for now. What I'm gonna do is use the Optimus Prime helmet as well, because I think that'd be funny. So we don't really need to go through the ins and outs of getting this sorted again. Um, the workflow is you get your assets sorted, get that together, export it as an FBX, and then import that FBX. So I'm gonna do that now. Once you're done finding your helmet or accessory, uh, export that FBX, file export FBX, um, save in a nice folder, same again in your outfits folder in Unreal, drag in your helmet FBX, import all, so we got our sweet helmet now, oh yeah it's going to be massive again but that's fine, double click on this mesh, couple things to optimise again, make sure all these materials are two-sided uh, next material sweet so now we've got no back face culling that's lovely so I'll show you a, another technique for attaching things using socket go into the face mesh skeleton so find a socket that will nicely move with your head so this one would be good because as you move your eyebrows this might also move Central one. Let's just go for this main head bone then. So you can right click on this and go add socket. Head socket is a good name. Keep that there. Back in your character blueprint. Navigate back to your helmet. Drag that in. Make it a child of your face. He's now currently overshadowing <laughs> this whole thing. But compile and save. Bring the scale down. I mean, we could check the scaling of this. 0.92199. Just to make it exact. Let's do the same for this. So control C, control V, hit tab, control V. In all of those, compile and save. So as long as this is a child of face, go here, go parent socket. And then the head socket we've created should be at the top of the list. Select that. Might do something weird with the location and rotation, but can sort that out. Space bar to change that. And boom, <laughs> we are looking very good. Looking astounding, to be honest. Uh, take off any of these snaps. I think you need to change the increment here. Tiny, tiny increment. That's for scaling, for uh, change the grid, turn the grid snap off. There we go. <laughs> amazing, amazing stuff. So the eyes are the window to the soul, but we're gonna cover them up for now. Just for this example. Now that's positioned wonderfully. <laughs> we're gonna compile and save. <laughs> I'm so excited to check this out. Um, and I'm going to need to turn off my other Unreal to test this out, so I'm going to stop recording. But I guess, okay, we can test it out even before I do that by going back to your Prime Armor, enable the animation. So, yeah, we can see it's all good. <laughs> I'm going to get off quickly and show you this with the face. Da, 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 da. Hello! Okay, as you can see, once again, I'm very excited by this. The animation is perfectly appropriate because I am stoked that we've got this far. Score! A billion things we could carry on with, but I think character design wise, we're doing pretty damn good. Gonna go on to the next bit which will be a new playlist, and that'll be uh, environment design. So we're gonna start real basic, get into some cool stuff, and um, get some environments together. Do that next. Cheers. <laughs>